Friday night, me and you are gonna have some fun. What are you doing here? Yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I guess now that we're both here on a Friday night for some reason, it's, uh, it's time to get to work. All right. Not like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This laptop came in uh, way too long ago. I already started some work on this. So there's a few things on this one. Bad RAM stick. Sad face. Good RAM stick, but the customer wanted more RAM. So he brought us some 32 gigabyte Vengeance. And he also wants to replace the SSD. It's an M2 SATA SSD. He wants to replace it with an NVMe SSD, which he also provided. Uh, this note, which is very sweet, if I could read. Unfortunately, I can't read. So this note is gonna have to go in the trash. Now I made sure to save the good part for you guys because I know you like the good parts. I like the good stuff too. Behold, years worth of scrotum cheese. Disturbing. Mm. To you, maybe. <laughs> now, I don't want to infect myself with any diseases. I recently got something that was caused by polyurethane or something like that. Zika. Instead of just scrubbing the dried bodily fluids, ass flakes, and eczema from the keyboard while roasting my customers' hygiene standards, I'm going to actually show you how to clean the outside of your laptop, including your keyboard, screen, and lid, to help prevent the emergence of another pandemic. So you may ask, how do you get rid of something so disgusting? And the answer, you should ask your mother. I'm just kidding, she's failed to do that. 99% isopropyl alcohol, Microfiber cloth. Scrub a dub dub. Give a scrub. Now be careful because you can rip a key off. So you have to be very gentle when you're scrubbing it in a circular motion. Look at that. Will you look at it? And for the screen, you don't want to use the gooch covered side of the cloth. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold it back in half like that, a little more isopropyl, and I'm gonna put this on its back. That's what she said. That's what we all said. For the screen, 70% sometimes works better because a lot of these stains are actually like sugar-based stains, like coffee, soda, whatever the disgustingness is, and it's water-soluble, but 99% won't take care of them. So you can actually see some of them here. Right, see that stain right there? There's a few right there, so um, I'm actually just gonna put a little water on this. I don't want too much. And you see, see how quick that was? See, that spot's gone. No one ever talks about that tip. They talk about my tip a lot, but they don't talk about that tip, so there you go. You don't wanna soak that rag, because if you soak the rag with water, obviously you're gonna have a bad time. You're gonna have a bad time! Why you would disconnect the battery if you're gonna really soak it. And that, my friends, is how two minutes of your time can turn your crusty laptop from biohazard to handsome bastard. All right, so firstly, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test to see how fast the SSD is. He has an M2 SATA SSD on there, and we're gonna convert it to an NVMe. And I'm just curious the speed difference. You see those numbers? Those are doo-doo numbers. Those are dookie. Poo-poo. Excrement. We're gonna bump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. And how do we do that, you ask? We clone it, of course. So easy. Unplug that battery. This is the culprit of the slow speeds. This is a SATA SSD. Chopped and screwed, baby. Yeah. And we're going over to a crucial P3. It's a DRAMless, DRAMless NVMe. Why are you using a DRAMless NVMe? I didn't choose this NVMe. The speeds he's gonna get off this thing are gonna be way better than the speeds he's getting off this little thing. Put the comments below. Stop saying that. <laughs> don't comment. Don't, I don't want anything to do with you guys. I love you. <laughs> All right, let's go over to our test bench. All right, and we're gonna clone tools, clone disk, we're gonna use Disk Genius. All right, this job is all about multitasking. And while this clone's over, we're gonna hop over to the second job from another customer, which is replacing the keyboard on, Oh, Lupe had a cat once. It got eaten. <laughs> <laughs> so this keyboard, oh, that's where I was. Sorry, I got distracted by the eating of animals. So these keys got eaten by their parrot. It was a parakeet? It was no. some kind of bird. Cockatiel. Uh, it wasn't your mother, she's she's my bird. But this one uh, got eaten by another bird. So we need to replace it, unfortunately, because no one gives a fuck about repair anymore when they design these things. They fuse the keyboard, they rivet it with plastic rivets so that you can't replace just the keyboard. Now, a lot of people you'll see in the comments right now are angrily typing. Well, why don't you just melt the plastic rivets? <laughs> my fellow humans, how many rivets are, are here? There's way too many to count. There's... 15, 16, and then underneath all this, there's rivets. You see all these little bubbles? I don't know if you can see it from there. Every single one of these 
are rivets. If you live in a country where this computer costs like eight years salary, yeah, it makes sense to replace that with another keyboard, right? Melt every single plastic rivet, which is probably gonna take you like two hours. Your head's gonna be all, uh, you know, you're gonna be inhaling plastic fumes. And when you put the new one in, the keyboard is gonna be mushy. There's a chance it's not gonna work correctly. So what, you're gonna have to do the whole job over again? In the United States, where we live, it is not worth riveting and melting the plastic rivets to replace the keyboard. This part costs what? $60 and this laptop is probably worth about 300 or something like that 350 maybe my labor is about a hundred bucks so they're looking at what a hundred something bucks that's it just hold off on the comments because I see that a lot on the comments and people comment <laughs> before they understand where you live the economics are different from where I live crazy right thugonomics what Oh, looky, looky, we have a factory seal. Looks like someone thought about opening it up, but they must have pussed out. Why do you think they would do that? Is it safe? We're good? Yeah. I tried explaining to the feds that the warranty sticker isn't, isn't legal in the United States. They can't deny you warranty service if the sticker's broken. I tried explaining it, it didn't, it didn't work. I don't want to get into too much detail, but uh, I made it. I'm here. <coughs> All right, where was I? Life on the run, buddy. Just a few screws. You have 35 more minutes to go, my friend. 35 minutes. Taking out these screws is gonna take 30 minutes by themselves. Pieces. There it is. These older MSI stealths are kind of tricky to take apart, not for the faint of heart. What I like to do, I like to start from the left to the right. So I'm just gonna start by unplugging all the cables. There goes the hard drive. And I have to keep in mind what cables are on here that don't need to be transferred over. And I have to make sure to always keep the yellow, the captain tape, that's what that's called. Keep it where it is because that's there so things don't get shorted out. Now they didn't say anything about doing a cleaning or anything like that, did they? No. Okay. It is, it is pretty filthy though. It does need to be cleaned. All these cables may be intimidating, but not everything can be as easy to connect and disconnect as Private Internet Access, today's video sponsor. Private Internet Access is a virtual private network app or VPN for short. And for those of you that don't know, a VPN is an app that hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. So even if a hacker is on the same Wi-Fi network as you trying to steal your valuable info, they won't be able to see your real IP or intercept your precious data. And along with being able to use an unlimited number of devices at once, PIA is available for every platform you see here and more. Combine all this with a no-log policy, and it's a no-brainer that I've been personally using PIA for over a decade, which is why I've given it the title of the greatest VPN that's ever lived. And now I get to share it with you because using my code below, you can get an 83% discount on PIA, which is only $2.03 a month. And even better, you get four extra months for free. Just check out the link in the description and start protecting yourself today. Now it is time for motherboard screws. And just do this, unplug this. Wow, this thing is disgusting. Okay, that's freaking gross. All right, there we go, boom. And now you have the old panel with all the cables, but we're not finished yet because we need to remove the display. So here's the, here's the motherboard, definitely overdue for a cleaning. This thing yeah. I'm sure is overheating. She's a filthy one. Oh yeah, she's dirty, she's dirty place that right there. All right, so before I take the display off, I'm just gonna open it up, bring it down like this, and then there's three screws on each side, and the display is the first thing I'm gonna put onto this. All right, there we go. And now we're finished with this. All right, so the original plan wasn't to replace the paste on this, but I feel like if this customer is spending money with me, they're on borrowed time because it's clear that this has never been cleaned. So I'm gonna help them out. I'm, I am gonna replace the paste on here, even though it's gonna, it's gonna keep me longer, but I don't like doing half jobs, especially when I have it with me. It's a horrible business decision, but you know, that's just the person I am. So it's, it sucks. It's good for customers. It sucks for me, but it is what it is. That's why I like you guys so much because the extra income that I get from the memberships and stuff allows me to kind of offset the money that I would, you know, charge if I had to do this. I thank you again. If you're not a member, memberships are open. If you want to support the channel? Go ahead. I would appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, that's in there. Oh, that's in there huh? oh. Okay. Not that bad. It's definitely, uh, it definitely needs to be replaced though. 
Silicone actually doesn't look bad at all. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Not that bad. Those are bird pubes. Not that bad. What about this one? Oh, that's a little worse. I'm definitely not Gooch Collector worthy, so I'll let him rest. It's a Friday night, he's probably busy. Even though it's not too bad, I do want to blow it out because I don't want that dust just lingering around after I did all that work. I have to be careful though because I am still a wanted man. Let's hope nobody recognizes me. I can't see anything. Gee, how'd that get there? Nothing. Okay. Do you think they'll notice me? All right, we're gonna be quick. All right, we made it back safe. Now the old thermal paste needs to be removed. And you have to be careful with these because the pipe bends easy. So you have to be careful when you're cleaning it not to put too much pressure on it because if you bend the pipe, you're gonna mess up the cooling system. So you wanna put your hand behind whatever you're putting pressure on, like this. I'm putting my hand on your hip. When you dip, I dip, we dip. Kids don't know anything about that song. Oh, they don't, we're old. All right, the silicone looks okay. Uh, I already did the chips while Lupe was taking a dump. So time for some PTM 7950, boys. And if anybody wonders how I measure it out, so I just put pressure on it like this. And when I look at it from here, I can see the indent of the chip and that's where I cut it. And to get the PTM actually off, this is difficult to see on camera, but I have to get the blade in between the plastic and the PTM, which is hard. It's kind of, you kind of have to move it around like this. Hold it down gently, peel it, and then boom, you have the stick. All right, PTM is done. Now we need to put the fans back where, where they belong. Mm -hmm. oh, a little bit of space. I'm losing my freaking mind. Do you remember the time? I got a hot date at 8.30, it's 8.08, cutting it close. Ring gold ding a ling ring gold ding a ling ling Are you singing Christmas carols? Yeah, man. Why? Doesn't that make you happy? It makes me outrageously angry. <laughs> Fuck me. There's a screw left over. When did you forget? I definitely didn't forget this corner screw for the fan that was covered in tape. This is YouTube. No one ever shows their mistakes, including me. I'll never show my mistake. This clip will never see the light of day. The greatest technician that's ever lived. Why do computers do that, man? Psych you they out. scare the shit out of you. HP is the worst. HP will act like it's completely dead. It's not working. It's never going to work again. And then it'll say, CMOS has been reset. All right. While that charges, looks like our clone has been done for quite a while now. So we did not meet our timeline, but who cares? I'm going to turn that off. Get our original. These are fugitive. These are felon, felon drives. Shout out to Flex the Spot for this awesome table. We're going to take the Crucial out. Boom skis. Put it right in there. And our screw. And it is 847. We close at six. <laughs> so his original drive, obviously we're gonna keep. We're gonna send it back to him. So we're gonna put it back right there. OG drive. And we're gonna plug the battery back in. And I pray that it worked, because if it didn't, then I am going to run this over with my car. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. It's not working. Fucking motherfucking piece of shit. Okay, so I booted into, it wouldn't boot, I don't know if you, when did you cut, well I said fucking yeah. shit. All right, so it wouldn't boot. I booted into safe mode with uh, networking because I think it might need to install the NVMe drivers. I'm not sure, but safe mode works. Safe mode works. Sometimes this happens on Dell's, this happens a lot. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna restart it in normal mode and see what happens. I also am gonna plug it in. Okay, sometimes that does happen. This thing already, you can tell, is so much faster. So we're gonna go to Crystal Disk Mark. Oh, this thing is so much faster, dude. You can already tell. That's insane. 
It was at 500 before. Now, where are all those case screws? And with that question, I'll see you all next week.